murder, which I am not afraid to denounce as a murder. George Floyd was murdered. I'm not afraid to say that. I don't think there's a law enforcement officer out there that's afraid to say that. I condemn it. Unfortunately, what's not happening from the other side is they are not condemning the violence we see against police. We're the PBA. We screen candidates to see how they stand on public safety, on law enforcement. And we don't have a party. We screen candidates from both sides. And one thing that struck me this week, we, we screened the opponent, Lee Zeldin, our great congressman. His opponent came in. And let me tell you something. I asked his opponent why. Why are you not condemning the violence? Why when you see brake lines cut on police cars? Why when you see bricks thrown at police officers? Why aren't you coming out and saying something? And you know what she told me? She told me it's not in my district. I don't see it in my district. Apparently there's an invisible shield at 110. There's some kind of force field at 110. And it's not going to drive into her district. Apparently there are people that live here in her district that work and travel into New York City where they're burning things down. You know how I know that there is no force field there? 20 years as a cop. 20 years as a cop here in Suffolk County where I find kids with needles stuck in their arm. DOA dead. And the heroin that's running through their veins, it came from the Bronx. I was the first cop down in Oakdale at a radio shack. When a couple people who didn't live in her district drove out here and decided they were going to rob that place. And they didn't take too kindly when the young clerk hit the alarm. So they shot him in the chest. I watched him die as I tried to save his life. They weren't from her district, but what happened just a few miles away in not her district, that had an effect here in Suffolk County. I am overjoyed that you are here today. I cannot thank you enough. But let me tell you something, if you don't show up on election day, it is all for naught. It comes down to the vote. That's what's great about this country. We don't we don't block roads. We don't stop ambulances. We don't need to burn down stores. We show up on election day. You hold them accountable. That is our hashtag for the Suffolk PBA. They are responsible. They are responsible. Let me tell you some of the people that are responsible here in New York State. The cowards. The elected cowards that we have in the New York State Senate. The cowards that we have in the New York State Assembly. As police officers, we can tolerate a lot of things. We have to tolerate a lot of things to deal with what we deal with. One thing we can't tolerate, cowardice. If you are that police officer that stands on the sideline while your partner's getting his ass kicked, we have no use for you. If you are that police officer that won't run into the school when little kids are being shot, we have no use for you. And if you are that elected official who votes for a law who allows rapists and murderers and criminals to plague our streets and to walk free, we have no use for you. Monica Martinez, John Brooks, Senator Brooks, Senator Gorin, every one of them, every one of them voted for laws that stop us, the police, from protecting you, the public. They paint a big target on our back. They send criminals to our homes because they give out our personal information. They make it so that if I'm in a fight for my life, if someone has a gun to my partner's head right now, and I walk behind that person and I grab him around the neck to get him off my partner, to get that gun away from my partner's head, I go to jail as the cop. Yeah. It's a disgrace. Yep. Absolutely. Remember their names on election day. I don't want to take too much of your time. I appreciate you being out here. Thank you from the bottom of the heart. Thank you on behalf of my members. God bless you and stay safe. Now that was awesome. That's what I was expecting for the PBA. Uh, we're going to take a short break. We have Joe Hess come back.